we're just out here. It's kind of like a little family night. Daddy's working on chopping the tree down. And we're just sitting here playing in the grass before bedtime, huh? Is it almost bedtime? Can you say good night? Yeah. Is Bailey like tickling you? Is she tickling you? Is she tickling you? What do you think? What do you think? So baby, what you got going on? Well, I'm not really sure how far along I am here. Um, but this is, Charlie's gonna eat something. Charlie, what are you doing? Nothing. Don't eat it, don't eat it. Oh, don't do it. Don't do that. That's so, much better, huh? This is an elm tree that was here when we got here. We don't love it. It puts off seeds every year and they go like, everywhere and then it grows little elm trees. Of course our neighbor has one too, so we'll probably still get them. But this is gonna be our, all our grassy area, so we don't really want a tree right in the middle of it. So we're gonna find another tree, probably back in that corner someday. But for now, I was just gonna chop this off with the chainsaw and then let it rot, but we kinda wanna get all the sprinkler system in and stuff in, so I kinda wanna dig up all the roots while I'm at it. So it's easier to get the sprinklers in. So I dug it up around it and used the saws all to cut out the, the roots. And I don't really know how close I am to tipping it over. I told Avery to go get her camera just in case, but I don't think it's gonna go right over. Yeah, there's still something big in there. You can shut that off. <laughs> Charlie, where are you going? Oh, perfect, the dog's bull. All right, Mr. Lumberger Jack. Lumberjack wouldn't chop it off right there. Chainsaw. It's not going to be very dramatic because there's still a big root in the ground. If you want to be dramatic, you can go get the saw and chop it. You can just push it over. I just say just push it over. It's I don't know if it's going to fall over or not. Good job, baby. Bella right here is a big help. She's really, really good emotional support. So I thought I would show you guys a little sneak peek at my succulent garden. I'm gonna fill in this whole bed with succulents. You can see I already have a lot here. I'm probably gonna dig up most of these and kind of work them in. Like I have a bunch of rocks over there. I don't know if you can see them. There's like a big pile of rocks over there. Um, and I'm gonna kind of just keep doing what I've done here is like put all the rocks in here. I need to add a bunch more dirt. Um, and then fill it in with all these lovely succulents. And it's done. He actually did that super fast. I was thinking that was gonna take like a week. <laughs> but you just took care of it and ripped it out. Good job, baby. Past performance is not a, what do they say in the stock market? Past gains is not a guarantee of future performance or something like that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's a good looking hole you got there. Now, nice. now what do we need to do? We're gonna dig this out and put a big cement patio here. Okay. That's the end goal. What's the next task, though, to do that? Like, we know we're putting a cement slab there. What's the next task? Dig it out, put gravel in, and form it, and then pour concrete. Is that easy? Yeah, I'll just well, do it tonight. Well, let's just do it tomorrow. I gotta work tomorrow. Okay, well, we'll just do it. You're awesome. Good work, babe. Thanks. Going? Tell me, Tyson. Take the car out and clean it up. Why did we take a free leaf blower? That doesn't work. Because I'm the son of hoarders. I don't know. <laughs> You're cute. That is a pretty sky over there. Look at that. Yeah, big old clouds. So pretty. So I've got a bunch of hens and chicks right here. And you can see the hens have all these little chicks that they've put out. Yes, dear? 
Are you going to use the truck tomorrow? No. You're not going to get parked? No. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, by the way, this hen and chick is going to flower, which I actually don't really like the way these look when they flower. They look kind of ugly, but I'll show you guys what it really looks. The main problem is these things, in the past at least, they get like, I don't know, two feet tall, and then they just, you think, like, they're gonna put off this beautiful flower, and then that's like it. Like, that's about the size that the flower is. It just opens up a tiny little bit, and... I don't know. I'll show you guys in a future video kind of what they look like, but they're not my favorite. They're, the whole succulent just kind of looks ratty for the whole year when it flowers like that. So I kind of just get rid of them once they start doing this. Since they put off so many lovely little chicks for me. So this has a ton of chicks. I already pulled off the biggest ones. I'm going to leave these ones another week or so and they'll get nice and big. And I'll show you the ones I already pulled off. So here are all the, of the little succulents that I just pulled off of those big ones. Um, and basically all I'm gonna do is just pull off some of these lower leaves. You can see right here, there's already some roots that have kind of started to shoot out. So I'm just gonna pull off a couple of these lower leaves, just the ones that are kind of in the way and that would get soggy anyway when putting it in the pot. And then I'm just gonna take a little pot just like this. It's just full of succulent dirt. And I'm literally going to just stick this in, just like that. Now sometimes these little tails, I don't know, that's kind of what I call them. This is just where it attaches to the mother hen um, succulent. Sometimes these are a little bit too long, and so they won't quite, you know, it won't quite fit in there very well. This one seems to be okay. It fits all the way to bottom. You just want to be able to get it all the way to the bottom so that these little roots that are already forming and the ones that will fo form in the future are kind of like already touching the soil and usually i like to try and get them off the plant when they're looking more like this if you wait too long to get them off the plant they kind of start going up and around the mother's hen succulent and so they kind of look pointed like this they're kind of pointed one direction but it's okay it'll correct itself it just takes a little bit longer and i don't think they're as pretty like this so i don't like to sell them until they're like nice and straight so it's good for me. I really like to get them off the plant when they kind of when they look like this, when they're just a lot rounder. They just kind of fill out. Um, they just kind of fill out these little pots a little bit better. See, that one's a little bit too tall. So what I will do with this one is I'll just take my fingernail. These break pretty easily. So I'll just take my fingernail and just like break off that extra little bit and then take off some of these leaves. And you want to be careful leave as much as that on as you can if you break it off it's not that big of a deal but it's good to leave what you can on So when you pull these off of the main succulent, there's gonna be like an open wound right on the end of that succulent. Um, and you wanna let that dry out pretty good before you water it. So my soil is a little tiny bit damp um, and I'm gonna go ahead and poke these in. But I'm gonna wait a couple days before I water, water them real good because I want that callus to kinda dry up before I start watering them really heavily. If you wanted, you could pull them off the plant and just let them sit out just like this, like on a table or in a bowl or however you want you could just let them sit out um, and they could just callus in the air and then um, once they kind of have that callus give them i've left them out for like a week or two so like if you pull them off your plant let them sit for a couple days make sure this callus is up and then you can stick them in your soil and water them right away so here's what we got i think they look pretty good 